Hi, welcome to Bob's Pistols and Pater. I'm Bob, and uh, we're going to shoot a uh, really special little pistol today. Hold it up for you. It's a Colt Model 1911, and it's got a special barrel on it, uh, made by Jim Clark. Uh, for a good friend of mine, this is this is his pistol. It's not mine. Uh, his name is Bob also. No, that's not his last name, but his first name is Bob. <clears throat> and uh, he has shot this for, he said, 60 years. And uh, here in a little bit, you'll see some footage of it up at the shop where I was cleaning it. Uh, definitely took the record for the longest amount of time it's ever taken me to clean a 1911. Uh, used the uh, Hornaday Sonic Cleaner. <clears throat> and uh, tore it all totally down, put it all back together. It's really, really clean and sharp and good to go, so. Uh. Hi guys, Bob's Pistols and Pay Dirt here, coming to you from North Texas. Hey, we got a really special uh, pistol today. This is a Colt pistol, and what makes this one so special is, well, one, it's not my, it's not mine. It uh, belongs to a really good friend of mine I've known for decades. He and I shoot usually once a week at a range, not to be disclosed at this time, but we shoot along with a handful of other people. Uh, his name also is Bob. And uh, again, we've, we've shot together for years. Bob used to shoot uh, competitively in the armed forces for 25 years. He shot pistol, rifle, some shotgun, and he got to really travel all over the world and shoot in competition. So um, this particular uh, pistol is a Colt and uh, it has a special barrel. Um, Jim Clark Sr. built this barrel with this compensator about 60 years ago and my buddy Bob shot this in competition a lot. And as you can see, it's very dirty. Let's just take a little wipe here. Yeah, very dirty. And it's not shooting very good. And probably it's because, if you can see, this compensator has gotten really loose over time. So it hasn't been cleaned in quite some time. Here's like a clean spot. Let's just take a little wipe down in here. Yeah. Hasn't been clean in a while, that's okay. Uh, he gave it to me, we shoot, like I say, about once a week, so he gave it to me, and I'm going to uh, clean it all up, disassemble it completely, take it apart, make sure it's all functioning properly, get this compensator put back on properly, and we'll take it down to the range and shoot it and see how it does. It used to shoot about a, oh, at 10 yards, about a two inch or better, uh, you know, from just offhand. And Bob says now it's shooting about <laughs> twice as much. So I'm sure it has to do with this compensator and probably a lot of lead buildup and this and that. But whoo, she's a dirty girl. So anyway, I just want to introduce you to her before we get her cleaned up. She's gorgeous, beautiful Colt. I'm going to look it up and see when it was made, but I know he's had this pistol for over 60 years, shot it in a lot of competitions and stuff, and I really look forward to uh, uh, shooting it today a little bit later, but I, I do look forward to uh, taking it back to Bob and say, here, let's, uh, let's take it out on the range and see how she does today, and I bet you he gets it back in that inch to inch and a half circle at 10 yards, so. All right, see you in a bit when she's all cleaned up. Okay guys, just want to show you real quick and show Bob because I'm sure he's going to watch this video. She's a part, boy it's got a lot of junk stuck up in here, my goodness, whoa. Just, it's been a little, it's been a, it's been a minute since she's been cleaned out, got the barrel out, recoil spring, look at that frame. Man, oh man. Wowzer. Yep, I'd say she needs a bath. Let's get her cleaned up, put her back together. 
Get it all good and tight. Man, woohoo. And uh, yeah, I think Bob will be real happy when it's all put back together again, super clean and functioning perfectly. So here we go, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, I've got all the parts in the uh, Sonic Cleaner. Let's see, the grip module is off the frame. Barrel slide, miscellaneous parts. I'm gonna turn this thing on. I had to uh, cut the uh, camera uh, audio. It's really loud, but you can see the uh, Sonic Cleaner is on and uh, all the gunk and everything is just coming off of all of the parts in the uh, Hornaday hot tub. So, uh, yeah, it was just too loud to let it run by itself. So, a little voiceover today. All right. Thought you might want to take a look at it all cleaned up. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? All nice and clean and shiny again. Go ahead and open her up here the uh, comps on good and tight it's all clean if you look down inside beautiful shiny all the way well my friend Bob I will let you know I really enjoyed cleaning this gun but it did set a record I've never spent over two solid hours totally tearing down and putting back together again in 1911. A lot of fun, uh, super clean, good to go. Yep, good to go. We're gonna go down and shoot it. See you at the range. Tell you a little bit about, I made some notes because I don't want to butcher the information. Jim Clark was a uh, man in the shooting world that held many, many titles, uh, many records. <clears throat> way back when in the 40s and 50s and 60s and stuff <clears throat> um, shooting became very popular competition shooting became extremely popular uh, Jim Clark, Clark Sr. Uh, shot in the NRA bullseye pistol competition for 28 years he inspired his entire family uh, to become shooters uh, national competitors, world competitors, and uh, have built many, many fine firearms. Also, Jim Clark won the National Pistol Championship in 1958, Camp Pendleton. I think that was the first time and maybe the only time that a civilian ever won that award. He also won the National Civilian title five times. His son, Jim Clark Jr., uh, won many, many titles as well, many championships. And his daughter Kay also won many championships, uh, state, U.S. championships, etc. Kay met a young gentleman years ago. His name is Jerry. And you probably have heard this name, Jerry Michalak. He's probably one of the most well-known marksman in the world. Uh, Jerry married Kay and uh, they've been together ever since. They're a lovely couple. Jerry still shoots for Smith & Wesson. Kay still shoots. They shoot together as a family. Uh, their daughter Lena has also taken up uh, the shooting and she is well on her way to uh, winning many, many, many titles. Uh, has already won uh, world titles and national titles, etc. So a little bit of the history of the Clark family, the Michaleks, and the importance of this particular barrel being handcrafted by Jim Clark. This was uh, a race gun 60 years ago in the fact that it's got a compensator put on top of it. Uh, they didn't used to do that. I think Jim was one of the very first ones to come up with this novel idea. And it's uh, evolved over the years, and to this, to this day, many times they, uh, they use the compensator. So anyway, it was special to get to tear this one down, uh, to really look at it, see the craftsmanship. Yeah, it's old, it's got a few scratches, it's got a lot of wear marks on it and stuff. 
but it's just uh, wow it's just a lovely lovely piece of history uh, to me it's museum piece so anyway got it all put together <clears throat> yeah I'll quit drooling over the gun and uh, let's see if we can shoot it this target uh, get out of the way here this target is about 12 yards away actually it's kind of about an angle uh, so we don't get any spray back here that little black dot is about the size of a quarter so I went ahead and loaded up five five rounds, and I'm going to uh, let me get my ears on here. Be safe. Good eyes and ears. I'm going to go ahead, load up five rounds, and see what happens. All right. I'm going to use a ref. See if I can get a, a little bit of accuracy rating on this. Well, it shot good. Ah, it shot good. I want to see what my pattern is. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, well, it shot pretty good, better than I shot. So I took a look at it and uh, they were all close but one. And tr truthfully, I knew right away. My first shot, I pulled it. Uh, not used to that trigger it went off a little quicker than I thought it was going to so I'm gonna put five more rounds on it Rehab, see what that feels like Man that trigger is light Okay, let's try that again I don't know if you saw that. I shot a better freehand than I did with the bench. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna shoot a few rounds. It's that time of the year, of the world, of the whatever. And ammo is really hard to come by. And, uh, yep, I'm gonna save these for another day. I just really wanted to test fire it, make sure it all fired properly and that it shot accurately. And that is a beautiful little pistol. Yep, three and a quarter pounds. Beautiful trigger, wow. Beautiful pistol, guys. Colt 1911, she's an old one. Special with the Jim Clark barrel compensator. Compensator's on really nice and super tight. It's not going to come off. Uh, super clean. Bob's going to be really happy to get this one back. I'll see him this week and uh, present him with his brand new looking firearm, and he will be a happy guy. That's about all I got today. Uh, I do have a special video coming out in the not too distant future. It's to celebrate our uh, 100 su subscribers. Yeah, we made it to 100 subscribers and I just really didn't even believe that could happen. So pretty excited about that. We'll do something fun, a way to give back and to uh, have some fun with it. So thank you so much. If you like the video, please do that like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that cool stuff. Leave a comment. Really appreciate it and see you on the next video. Happy trails. See you next time.